BM official press release 8 November 2014. I wish to inform that today we have received the letter dated 7 November from BWF informing the result of the testing for sample B. The result of the testing confirmed the existence of the hexametasone in the sample. Substance, as you are all fully aware by now, it is not a performance enhancement drug. We are also informed by BWF that this matter will be referred to the BWF doping hearing panel. And now, due process will take place. In due course, the panel will provide the time, date, and location of the hearing. Therefore, with this due process taking place, we are still at no liberty to reveal the name of the player. According to the BWF regulation in PARA 14.4 on public disclosure states that neither BWF or its member association shall publicly identify players whose samples have resulted in adverse analytical findings or who were alleged to have violated other of this anti-doping regulation until it has been determined in a hearing in accordance to regulation 8 that an anti-doping regulation violation has occurred or such hearing has been waived or the assertion of an anti-doping regulation violation has not been timely challenged. As such, we plead to all of you to be patient and allow this due process to take place. As the Deputy President of BAM and also the Chairman of BM Anti-Doping Working Committee, I would like to inform you that we believe that this player is a very hard-working player and an exceptional individual. We also believe that this player has never resorted to shortcuts in his pursuit to achieve success. Henceforth, in the last Council meeting, the Council unanimously agreed to provide support in all aspects to this player. BM will work together with the Minister of Youth and Sport, Yang Berhormat Encik Kari Jamaluddin, on this matter, and we have already hired a lawyer, Mr. Mike Morgan from Morgan Sports Law, LLP, who specializes in sports law to assist us in this matter as well. Mr. Morgan is currently based in London. Thank you very much.